Somebody say, ta 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 Let me feel it once again. Let me say, ta 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 Good morning, Ethereans. Good morning, all etheric beings who are mixed with us and all of you online. Welcome you to the 40th anniversary celebration of Ethereum Mission. I'll be pleased if you can put the Ethereum Mission logo on the screen for me and keep it on the screens throughout till uh, I come to some conclusion. I want us to deliberate on the reason of Ethereum Mission as a whole. Ethereum Mission as a whole. And I want to treat ourselves to the topic, uh, in him we live. Tell somebody, in him we live. And in him we live talks about cosmic intimacy. Having cosmic intimacy, universal intimacy with life. So in him we live. Scripture says in him we live, move and have our being. And it is never true until you really come to realize it as your life. So 40 years ago, I had to step into this land for the main purpose of setting up a Ethereum mission. It's a very long sto story. But the story as we see today tells us that we are so far won and we continue to win. But what is the whole reason? A Ethereum mission, we need to embrace ourselves. And to embrace ourselves, we have to realize that we are different and accept how different we really are. Totally different. We want to invite the world to a new paradigm, a new era of spirituality, where we don't have to fear a god somewhere in the sky and thinking one day we'll go into his or her hellfire. We want to embrace the truth about life. We are different. And when they will tell us that this God in the sky is writing our names, or has written our names, and based on your sins or your good, you go into his good book or his bad book, we want to tell the world that the God we know has no bad book. Tell somebody, God has no bad book. God has no bad book. The only book God can have is good. So we can only be in one book of God called good goodness. And even if you are a medra, I want you to know that righteousness is in you. And the Ethereum is here to be a, a prophet. A prophet is not one who prophesies to people and tell you, you are going to die tomorrow. Your mother is a witch. Those are charlatans. A prophet simply is the one who carries the voice of God. And the voice of God calls forth God out of others. When the prophet speaks, his voice is inviting God's expression out of you. That is true prophecy. Am I making sense? So a prophet is not one who tells people, next week you are going to die, the Muslim leader is going to die, your, going, your, your mother is a witch, your father is a wizard. That is just charlatan living. We've never heard Yeshua, who the world has christened Jesus. We've never heard him ever teaching and saying, your mother is a witch. Did we ever hear him do that? And today, when we have Many churches rising, and their prophecies are along those lines. We need a theory and mission. We need a new ministry, a theory and mission. So we need to accept that we are different. We will not teach of devil that is forever fighting God. God created world in his own image and likeness, created you in his image and likeness for you to be saved. We want to move away from that consciousness. Because whenever the gospel of salvation is taught, it always inspires fear. Because you have to be saved from something to something. We want to bring you to a God that constitutes your very being. And you have to awaken to God. We are different because we will not tell you about hellfire or even you will go to heaven. Because there's no heaven to go to. There's heaven to awaken yourself into. So it is not salvation into heaven. It is elevation of your human consciousness to heavenly experience. Am I making sense? So you can experience heaven here and now. If you go to bed and you don't know Pythagoras' theorem, you'll wake up not knowing it. So if you sleep ignorant, you'll wake up ignorant. If human beings live 
in ignorance and die and hope that when they die, then they will wake up in some heaven. You are telling yourself a lie. All these have been just plans to control human thinking, human mind. And especially Africans have been the great slaves of this type of thinking. That's why Africa is still struggling. Because we wouldn't wake up. And even if I would stand up and teach this, I know that I am in the world to awaken humanity to a new paradigm. And I know that this paradigm is so heavy. In fact, it is what is, it is the simple truth. And because the lie has been there for so long, truth now sounds and appears strange. So I know I'll be persecuted, and I have been, and I'm still here. Yes? I recall a few years ago, Dr. Shiwaza Bandawi, he heard of my works from an American magazine. He lives in Malawi. Think of it. <laughs> he heard of my works in an American magazine. So he flew to Ghana, stayed with me for a few weeks, studied the many things we do, and he said, essential life education is amazing. So he took it to the University of Malawi. It's been accepted. And now it is a preliminary course required to, uh, for the new students in the University of Malawi. And then he, <laughs> then he flew down to Ghana to tell Ghanaians that, look, you have something more than gold and diamond to export. We went on the national television. And then we went on the second powerful television, TV3. Then we went on Crystal TV. Then we went to Joy FM. We went to Peace FM. These are the powerful stations, isn't it? We got phone calls from all over the country. And that is the end. Good morning. He flew down just to tell the world of Ghana, we've got something. But Africans will be the very ones to condemn it. Because you've been brainwashed to believe everything African is evil. Your skin, is, your skin color is evil. Your name is evil. That's Ethereum mission. And what you see on the screen, the logo, in the right, and the teaching of a theory machine says, in him we live. And upon this, I want us to address something briefly for our consumption. In him we live, meaning we live, move, and have our being in God. And when you are waking to this, then you experience cosmic intimacy with life. Cosmic intimacy makes us come to realize that the universal creative love intelligence that runs life is God. There's no God in the sky. Life in its wholeness, as creative love intelligence at work, is God. This is the paradigm we are waking the world into. And when we shift into just this simple awareness, and you come to the next awareness as a result of this, that you have not been created, tell somebody you have not been created, there's no God out there who created you. We have emerged from life. We have emerged from God the same way as the waves emerged from the ocean. And when the waves emerged from the ocean, they emerged from the ocean with the watery and the salty nature of the ocean. Similarly, you have emerged from the creative love intelligent universe with all the abilities and possibilities and potentials of the universe. If you fail, it's your problem. But every possibility of the universe is within you. What did you hear me say? It's within me. Who? Then let me hear you say it again. And that is a huge paradigm shift. Because almost all religions are telling you about God created you. And it gives you the picture of a power and you. So you are separate from that power. That power created you and then gave you laws to follow. And if you don't follow, then you go to his bad book. That image creates God a monster. And Jesus Christ is to save us from a monster God. Jesus Christ will save you means that God is a monster. Am I making myself clear? Because he is to save you. And he saves you unto who? To God. Does it make sense to you? Yet, the world follows it. Jesus Christ saves you to God the monster who is saving you from. So, he saves you from God to God. How can God create us in this image and likeness and then we are to be saved? So, we need the awakening that we have emerged from God. Somebody say, I have emerged from God. I have, from God. I have come from God. 
So when Bible will say created in God's image and likeness, is to tell you that all the substance, nature, and abilities of God is within you as you. Amen. And when you come to that, like the wave, you now feel your intimacy with God. The logo you are seeing on the screen is the whole spiritual power of Ethereum mission. If you have this logo in your home, I tell you, no power in heaven on earth can strike you. Because it has been consecrated with that. You see the two concentric circles. The inner circle contains the whole universe. The ocean of divine consciousness. And then the outer circle tells you that if you can think that there is a space outside of life, if there's a place outside of life where God is not, God is because you can think it. Am I making sense? In other words, God is total. And God is not a person. Tell somebody, God is not a person. God is not a person. Usually, the figure is a white, bearded old man, isn't it? He's never a, a, a black man. And when you see God as a white man, you have already become a slave. Can't you understand? Surreptitious programming, silent programming. You have made a graven image. Bible says, thou shalt have no other God besides me. But we have mental graven images of God. And that is wrong. Mental graven images. So I know he came out and said that this picture you are having of me, of Jesus, I'm not Jesus. I'm only an, an actor. And still, we didn't like it. You know the story I'm, I'm talking about? Hello? We are addicted to worshipping something. So out of God is the ocean of divine consciousness. This life we are living is divine, is pure. It is perfection ever unfolding. I wouldn't say it is perfect. I say it is unfolding perfection. At every phase of itself, it is expressed excellently as it should. And I've seen my Muslim daughter there. I gave birth to her and she's a Muslim. Her brother is not here. And he is also a Muslim. And when I speak to my Islamic families, I tell them that get the understanding of the great master, Muhammad, peace be unto him. Get a true understanding of him because he taught the same thing. When he said, he said, if you put a thousand Korans on one side of the scale and la ila illallah on the other side, la ila illallah will outweigh thousand Korans. So which one is the strong Koran? La ila illallah or the Koran? I don't hear you. La ila illallah means there's no other God but Allah, isn't it? And you know what it really means? There's no other means. There's no other means. There's no other means Allah does not exist. If Allah exists, Allah must exist in something. And that must be superior to Allah. La ilaha illallah therefore means Allah is existence itself. Somebody say Allah is existence. Allah is existence. When Allah is existence, that's the only state when there cannot be anything else. Am I making sense? Allah is existence itself. And therefore, you tell them that when you say Allah, Akbar, understand it. It's no more God is the greatest. If God is the greatest, then there will be great ones alongside with him, isn't it? But you have to let the world know Allah is the greatness, not the greatest. Because there will be great, greater, greatest, isn't it? And maybe some power will be 1% just towards Allah. But Allah is the greatness because Allah, 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 Allah defines La Allah, Akbar. So you come to Ethereum machine, and who are you? We are Christians. Who are we? We are Muslims. Who are we? We are Hindus. Who are we? We are, we are, where is God? Hello? This is why in African spirituality, we don't know God and something. Because the truth is in African spirituality. That teaches you that the air you are breathing, therefore, is God in expression. What gives you life is life. Am I making sense? Does the air give you life? Does the water give you life? Does the earth give you life? Does the sunlight give you life? Your ancestors were right when they wake up and they bless the sun. And they say, you are rising with the glory of fresh new wisdom for my day. And then you know that every in-breath you are, you are taking, you are breathing in the wisdom of the universe into you. That is 
intimacy with life. Intimacy with God. And I'm not teaching that this means mm, new paradigm. And this is where the struggles will begin. But I want you to be clear that at your mission, you have done well. And you continue to do well. I tell you, I see that great future even now. Let me tell you who and what we are as Ethereans. We are here as parents, foundation layers, and custodians of the new era of spirituality. The era in which we experience God in and as everything that is around us. We feel our intimacy with everything. And when even we don't feel, we come to realize that we cannot be aliens in God's world. We cannot be aliens in this world. So let me tell you once again who and what we are as Ethereans. We are here as parents, custodians, and foundation layers for the new era of spirituality. The era in which we will come to realize that we are imagined beings from this great life. We are its extensions. And we are here to express its glory and might. The universe does its good through each one of us. And it is doing that even now. Yes, we have to lay that foundation. Because when that wisdom alone sings, and I know I am an imagined being of the great life, and you are an imagined being of the great life, will I hurt you? I don't hear you. No. no. Naturally, I feel my oneness with you. And all of the human selfishness that has created divisions of Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and all of their isms will fade into nothing. Yes, we shall respect everyone by their culture, but we know that everybody is a culture unto himself or herself. Am I right? Your nose is different from my nose. Are you aware? So my nose breathes the air in different culture than your, your, your nose. Is it true? <laughs> but we are all animated by the same life of the air. Yes? So I know and feel my oneness with you. And with this, everything in religion or religion is seeking to achieve is already achieved. Today, religion is ruling the world. And if religion is wrong, then the whole of society is wrong. This is why I invite you, Ethereans, to wake up and let us do what we are here to do. Some of you think, oh, Brother Ishmael is here to teach, uh, to do. If you have known me, or you have heard me teach before, if you have heard me teach before and you are here today, then you are an enlightened being. Because if you've heard me teach before and you didn't run away, then it means the enlightenment message I shared caught up with you. If it's caught up with you, it means you are part of the team to come together to change the human thinking. Years ago, somewhere in 1973, my guardian angel, my God presence, told me that until the wisdom of Africa is resurrected, there will be no true civilization on the planet. I repeat, until the wisdom of Africa is resurrected, there will be no true civilization on the planet. I did not know that I was the one to carry it. I only know that I've gotten a teaching. And today, we have brought it to light. So if you heard me before, and you are here, then you are part of the enlightenment team. And this is why I will tell you, arise, arise, enlighten beings, arise. Arise, arise, enlighten beings, arise. We need your truth and love to wake in everyone that they may see the light. Arise, arise, enlightened beings, arise. Arise, arise, enlightened souls, arise. Will you rise with me?
I need your truth and love to strengthen everyone, to strengthen uh, that they may see the light, that they may see the light. Arise, arise, enlighten souls, arise. Arise, 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 enlighten beings, arise. I need your truth and love. I need your truth and to waken everyone, to waken every that they will see the light, that they will see the light. enlighten beings, enlighten beings, enlighten beings, enlighten beings. All right, if you feel like standing, you can stand. Enlighten beings, enlighten beings, enlighten beings. Arise. Arise, arise, enlightened soul, souls, enlightened souls. I pray, arise, 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 enlightened souls. I need your truth and love. I need your truth to strengthen everyone, to strengthen every that they will see the light, that they will see the light, enlightened beings. Enlighten beings, enlighten beings, enlighten beings arise, enlighten souls, enlighten souls, enlighten souls, enlighten souls arise. Thank you for rising and standing for me. Thank you, be seated. So that is my message. And when we come to this intimacy, in him we live. We will no more feel like aliens on the planet. We will feel our connectivity with life. And when even we are ignorant of the truth, the sunlight knows the truth. It is penetrating intimately into you now, even creating vitamin D in your body, isn't it? The elements are in intimacy with you. The universal God the universal creative love intelligent universe that you choose to call God is God on earth as the air you are breathing, as the sun that shines on you, as the water you drink and the earth you walk on. So when you even do not know, the waters are in intimacy with, with you, quenching your thirst and flowing in your body as blood. Mommy. The waters are in intimacy with you. Life is in intimacy with you. You are never at any moment alone. And you come to realize that your true parents are not your father and your mother. Today is Father's Day, isn't it? But your true parents are the universe itself. When the universe is your father, you will no more live a life of what my father said, what my mother did, what wrong they did, what they didn't do doesn't matter. What you do with you. You begin to feel the intimacy with the water that you drink in the earth. You start feeling the intimacy of the solidity under your feet. You start knowing this is God solidifying itself as me and for me and growing food. Like a mother that is passionate, she is in the kitchen growing food, planting food for you. The earth is in intimacy for you. Can't you feel what I'm saying? So you start having divine intimacy with life. The elements, the elements are the very body of God. Do you see me? I don't hear you. Do you see me? Do you really see me? Truly, you don't see me. You are seeing my body. You don't see my mind. Do you see my mind? Do you see my feelings? So you don't see me. You are seeing my body. Similarly, when you do this, you are only feeling the air. You are not seeing the spirit of the air. What intelligence is in the earth that the same soil, you put this seed there, that seed there, it will give you mango tree and apple tree. Can't you feel this is intelligent earth? Can't you feel this? Is somebody here with me? Yes. Isn't she loving with her force of gravity, holding all of us so we don't scatter in, into space? Is that not cosmic love? Yes. Love bonds, love holds together. So you feel the intimacy in the air that you are breathing. And then, do you breathe? I don't hear you. Do you breathe and breathe well? The truth is you don't breathe. If you breathe, you can stop breathing. If you like, try. The air is in intimacy with you, breathing you, pumping you in and out. 
The heir is saying, I love you. How can you feel lonely and be depressed and be worried when the very presence of God in the air, in the water, in the fire, in the earth is with you and loving you, caressing you. It's in divine intimacy and romantic love, passionate intimacy with you. How can you feel lonely? Good morning. This is Ethereum mission. And upon this, all of our teachings are based. So ocean of divine consciousness. And out of the ocean of divine consciousness, you stand with me. Stand, please. Out of the ocean of divine consciousness, no, only, only here. I'm showing you. <laughs> out of the ocean of divine consciousness, you see the two hands, isn't it? It symbolizes truth and love. There's only one religion whose name is truth and whose message is love. You see, when we are cleansed this way, we can separate. When we are cleansed this way, if she, either I'm pulling her or she's pulling me, truth will pull love and love will pull truth. We can't separate. These are the hands you see there. That is Ethereum. You tell yourself, I am an, an Ethereum. Yes. So one is in yellow, the other is in blue. Speaking of truth and love, male, female, mercy and justice, the balance of life. They are not against one another. They are complementing one another. And out of that is the bed, the bed of freedom. And that bed is you, the Ethereum. And he's shining his rays, and he's saying one message, in him we live. In him what? Can I hear it louder? In him? Full sentence, in him will. Let me feel it. In him will. Let me feel it again. In him we live. In life we live. In, in, in this mother, father, God, we live. This life, what gives you life is life. Fire, water, earth, and air. They make life possible here, isn't it? That is God. The intelligence in this that makes you possible is God. Stop seeking God somewhere in the sky. Hoping to go to God one day. When we can experience God right now, heaven is here right now. Ethereum mission. Ethereum mission. Transforming lives. That's our response. The word ethereal means heaven. From the English word ethereal. So ethereal mission simply means heavenly mission. We are here to awaken you to your divinity so you begin to experience your heaven here and now. Can't you see I am in heaven? Anybody who has experienced me, have you experienced heaven before? If you have not, if you have not experienced heaven before, then the time you saw me, you were blind. <laughs> Good morning. Has anybody seen me and, and not experienced heaven? No. When you see me, you will see heaven. So today, when anyone sees you, they will see what? Heaven. Let the world see heaven in you. Feel the divine intimacy of life. Then when you come to understand how the universe is so generous, generously giving of its light, stars are in abundance, everything is in abundance, life gives with reckless generosity, you feel the abundance and the beauty and the power of life, then you know that's what you are here to express. You no more play it small. You get out of the mediocre consciousness of I am black and they are cheating me and they are doing this, they will do it either way, rise above this. And be the greater yet to be. Yes. Sometimes we give all, all the excuses to remain small, little, and unseen. All the excuses. Because I'm black, they are marginalizing me. People in the same family, they discriminate, don't they? So stop that excuse. When you stand in your God glory, the world will respect you. We are bigger than the world. Because the universe is bigger than itself. Did you hear me? The universe is bigger than itself. That is why it is constantly expanding itself. Is somebody here with me? Are we going to deep spirituality? The universe is bigger than itself. So you are bigger than your circumstances. You are not defined by who gave birth to you, where you live, your race, your creed, your what. You are simply an extension of this creative love intelligence we call God. In him you live, move, and have your being. And in fact, when you even forget, it is doing it intimately with you, breathing you, planting food for, for you, growing food for you. When you are busy, worrying, in anxiety, oh, human beings. 
Let me hear you praying to God and lamenting about your problems. You will no more pray to God, telling God what big problems you have. <laughs> you will look at your problems and tell your problems what a big God you've come from. Yes. That is your, your power. You feel the intelligence that makes life possible. And you know, I am cosmic intelligence in expression. What, what do you know? I am cosmic intelligence. You feel the love that is keeping us together. And you know, I am cosmic love in expression. What do you know? I am cosmic love in expression. And then you feel the creativity that is making life happen. And you know, I'm what? Cosmic creativity in expression. And when you begin to feel it, that feeling it is your spiritual power. Then when you speak, value goes with your words. This is the consciousness of a theory mission. This is what we are inviting the world into. Yes? So we are uniquely different and we need to accept our, ourselves. So stop the story Ethereans that, oh, when we teach, people don't understand this. It is normal if they don't understand you. We are not to be understood. Good morning. We are too mysterious to be understood, but we understand ourselves. And keep shining the light of your soul, eventually they will wake up to it. Yes. Years ago, I was condemned in Ghana when we were teaching spiritual mind science. They say it's occult. This mind science people is occult. This mind science people. Today, the same church is saying, if you want to change your life, you have to change your mind. Good morning. It means at the time they were condemning, they were not mature. So let's be gentle with the world. Realize that you are the mothers, the parents of life itself. Look, we are different. Our teaching is all different. If you don't sit down yourself and list the difference, the differences in our teaching to the world, so that you can say, I am okay with it. I accept myself with our differences. List the differences. They tell you even to have faith in God, isn't it? And we tell you, you don't need to have faith in God. Nobody needs to have faith in God. To have faith in God means you and God. Good morning. Did your faith in God bring you here to the earth? You're, you are not here by, the, by your, your faith in God. You are here by the faith of God. God's faith produced you. So your faith has no role in, in how you arrived here. Can your faith therefore have any role in how your heart beats? Does your faith manage your heartbeat? Somebody say, I'm the faith of God in, in expression. I'm the faith of God in action. This deep wisdom is a whole teaching that I will take weeks if I will one day have the opportunity to be here to take us through all the stages to arrive for you to know it and feel it. It's the truth. Can you feel the, the truth? It's the faith of God that has made you possible. Not your faith. Your faith has no role. Sometimes they tell you, have faith in yourself. It's too difficult. Your father told you you are a bad girl. Your mother told you you are a stupid girl. Your teacher told you you can't set the world on fire. All these pictures are inside your mind, isn't it? Can you have faith in yourself? Now it becomes difficult, isn't it? Can you believe in, in, in yourself? But somebody now said this after me. I have the faith my creator has in itself for creating me. Let me feel it. I have the faith my creator has in itself for creating me. Let me feel it again. I have the faith my creator has in itself for creating me. I have the faith that this creative love intelligent universe has in itself for creating me. So it doesn't matter whether, whether you have faith in me or you, you don't. I have the faith the creator, not my faith. My faith is too small. Hello? Every inventor has faith in his creation, isn't it? Somebody say God has faith in his creation. I am that creation. I am that extension. I am that emergence. We then come to that awareness. Beloved, simply to let us know, in him we live. And when you can see everyone else as extensions of you, that they all live and move and have their being in the same substance that formed you, world peace is here. And world peace starts with you having peace in yourself. You no more need to do any struggle to have faith. You just have the faith of the universe. You begin to live by the faith of the universe. Yes. 
If I carry on, we won't finish. Because sometimes we even live as though death is wrong. So we are fighting it. Would there be life without death? Good morning. When every moment you are dying, do you know that? Tell somebody by your side, you are dying every, every moment. Because every moment, all cells are dying. New ones are, 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 are being born, isn't it? So for you to be alive, all cells must constantly die. New ones must be born. When you can face life this way, ah, I need your truth and love to wake in everyone that they may see the light. Arise, arise, enlightened beings arise. Thank you so much for listening to me. And this is what the three mission stands for. Wherever you are, I invite you to step in as an Ethereum, support in every way you can, so we have the resources to take this to the world. The word of God is free. Taking to the world costs money, isn't it? For me to fly here wasn't free. What was it free? God, a few thousands of dollars. Am I right? So let us all participate in the best of our ability. Because after all, the only reason you are here on earth is to do this. What you are doing now is a reason. All you have one day will never be yours, except what you are in yourself. Wake up to it. Let's live it to the full. Thank you for listening. Peace. <laughs>